Good morning, everybody. It is a beautiful Sunday morning. I'm riding my motorcycle to church. My wife don't feel good today, so she's staying home, and I'm going to ride my bike to church Sunday morning. Sixty-seven degrees. Sun shining. Can't beat this kind of weather. So I like to take the back ways to church. Instead of going the highway. If I'd want to ride the highway all the time, I'd have brought a street bike. But I'm a, a back roads person, that's why I bought a dual sport. I've always had a passion to have a dual sport. Um, as I growed up here in Missouri I had all kinds of ATVs and dirt bikes you know I mean I had the first three-wheeler to come out the Honda ATC 90 when it came out and then uh, later on the first four-wheeler came out Suzuki made a LT 125 and I got one of them new when they first came out and then uh, they was fun and I've had lots of four-wheelers. <clears throat> I've had about everything. I mean, of course I say everything, but that's not the late model stuff. I haven't had uh, many four-wheelers in several years now. About uh, my last four-wheeler was probably a 2000, I think it maybe a 2001. 400 EX and I may be totally wrong I can't remember uh, what year it was but uh, I uh, have had several four-wheelers 250 R's and raced and you know Banshees and 500 quad racer 250 quad racers but the whole time it never filled that spot you know, because I always, uh, since my first bike was actually uh, a little Honda Trail 70. Actually, no, it wasn't. I'm sorry. It was a QA50 was my first one, a little Honda 50. And, uh, and then I got a Trail 70. And then I got a, I think it was a 125 Elsinore. About that time, I had so many different little bikes back then that I can't remember all of them. None of them was, none of them little bikes uh, was new actually, except for the first one. The uh, Yamaha uh, old YZs. And, but even back then, I still, <clears throat> I still couldn't stay away from the Hondas. I liked the Hondas because I, I worked on them since I was old enough to work on. I was 10 years old and working on motorcycles. 11. Working on motorcycles. And uh, I always just thought, well, Honda just does a little better job on how they build stuff. So, uh, anyway, all through the years, I didn't have a dual sport. I had all kinds of four-wheelers. We went four-wheeling. We went to the sand dunes and uh, rode all around. I bought a Finally, I bought a uh, 1994 uh, Honda XR250. It wasn't the XL, so it wasn't street legal. The problem with the XR250 was for riding off-road. I wasn't planning on riding on the street. And the problem with the XR250 was it had enough trouble, to, enough trouble, sorry, it had the, enough power to get you into trouble, but not enough to get you out. And I realized that when I had was riding with everybody, and they all had two strokes. They had CR 250s, YZ 250s, and here I was with the XR, which out in the woods I could hold my own with them. You know, I could keep up with them out in the woods. But when we get to playing around on these track or these back roads like this, and uh, it just wasn't enough. So uh, I think I took it and traded it off and got a CR 125. 
and the CR125 would smoke that 250XR, you know, two-stroke, and it was a running dude, had a pro circuit pipe on it and silencer. But the 125, I just, the 125, too many RPMs, I just didn't care for the RPMs of the 125, so... In 1996, actually 1995, I bought a used, I traded that CR125 in and bought a CR500. But then, problem was never, a problem, the problem was never power after that. <laughs> With a CR500, power was not an issue. It was a 1990 CR500, and that dude had the power. Uh, racing motocross is it. I mean, you race in open class, you leave them 250 set behind. They may be better in the curves, but you get to any straightaways, you had the power to pull, out pull them any day. And drag racing at the sand dunes. There is no such thing as losing as long as you could run the gears, because that CR500 beat anything out there with a paddle tire on it. But it was just felt heavy it felt heavy and uh, you know uh, the power was just too much you don't want to ride around all the time your arms stretched out of socket all the time I give you arm pump like crazy so then I decided I want to get a uh, I want to get a 250 so 1996 I bought a brand new CR250. <clears throat> and that was probably the best two stroke. I mean, no, probably two. It was the best two stroke dirt bike I'd ever had. That thing was really awesome. It was actually faster than the 500, not because it had more power, it's because you could ride it. You could use the power. The 500 had so much power, you couldn't use it all the time. And for a 30 minute moto, you couldn't hang on to the thing for a 30 minute moto. Well, the 250 was light and such quick power. It was way better to handle. And uh, way better at motocross. But by then, I was actually had raced motocross several times and I got to where I was actually thinking, I don't need to be racing motocross. What happens if I get hurt, you know, and I need to be taking care of my family, having three kids and a wife at home. I don't need to be out getting hurt racing motocross. I wasn't making that money anyway, so, you know, I wasn't in the big time. So I'd race all the old 125s and stuff when I was young and the Elsinore 125, the Elsinore 250. But, uh, but the whole time I had the, the 500, the XR, the XR250, the, the CR250, I was like, man, I would love to have one where I could just ride on the street and, you know, instead of loading it in the truck to go riding somewhere, I could ride this thing, ride a dual sport on the street and just ride to my spot, go riding. So, uh, I, I kept I kept out kind of looking. I had some street bikes, had a Suzuki Marauder, had crotch rocket, CBR 600, had a a uh, Suzuki Katana, Shadows. I've had Gold Wings and all the street bikes too. Lots of cruisers, but uh, they just didn't wasn't me. You know, I felt at home on a dirt bike. It's just the way I am. I sit on a dirt bike. I feel that's where the comfort's at. Everybody else is wore out. When we go riding, I can ride all day. We come back to camp and I'm ready to go again. Everybody's all sore from riding. I'm raring to go. It just, I feel perfect on a dirt bike. So, uh, anyway making sure I'm right here but I think my first so I bought my first uh, I traded the Suzuki Marauder for a DR650 which was actually the bike that I had right before this one I traded for a DR650 SE 
it was a 2004 model or 2005 it was like brand new it only had 600 miles on it <clears throat> very good bike very good bike it was heavy I didn't like the weight of it because I like like I say I feel at home on a dirt bike and yeah it was a it was like a dirt bike pretty much was a dirt bike but it was heavy I mean it wasn't like the motocrossers that I've been used to and uh, it had pretty good power it wasn't zinging power like a two-stroke but the thing would go anywhere it'd run good it'd run 90 mile an hour no problem but it's still I rode it for a couple years and it just wasn't uh, wasn't that great so I thought ah, I think I want to get rid of this thing I, I went and traded it off for a camper didn't have another dual sport again and I <clears throat> course I wanted one but Honda didn't have nothing Honda had the XR 250L I knew I didn't want the XR 250L I would take one because that's what they had I didn't want the 650 Honda because I knew it was going to be like the the DR 650 so I didn't want the 650L because of the weight I wanted a light nimble one that's like a motocross bike is what I wanted a bike that's like a motocross bike with turn signals they don't have to have the power of a motocross bike, just the feel and the look. So, here I was without a dual sport. <clears throat> Actually, I didn't have a motorcycle. I still have a four-wheeler, same four-wheeler I had. It's a Honda 300 four-wheel drive that I use around the place, pulling the mower or pulling the trailer. But, uh, one day I was riding down through Cassville and <clears throat> at the McDonald's, here's a this Honda Dual Sport sitting over there. I hadn't, didn't even know they made the CRF 250L because I hadn't even paid attention to the magazines or nothing. So I whipped it in there. What in the world? That's the best looking Dual Sport I've ever seen. <clears throat> and I seen it was a Honda CRF 250L, which I'd never heard of it. <clears throat> that day after work, I decided, I told my wife, I said, hey, let's drive to Springfield, just look around. <laughs> So we went and looked around and and uh, went to the Honda shop and I didn't have a helmet with me because I actually didn't plan on buying one. I was just going to look at it. I ended up buying one so they had to loan me a helmet to get home. But uh, I couldn't resist it once I seen it. So that's how I end up getting the CRF, how I got a CRF 250L. That's what led up to it. And now I'm telling you, I'm more happy with this bike than I have ever been with any bike I've ever had. And I've had many, many bikes of all kinds. And this is the funnest. Uh, to me, it's the best riding, smoothest bike I've had. <clears throat> it's the best looking bike I've ever had. And it's like it's exactly what I wanted. It feels, when you're sitting on it, like a motocrosser. It looks like a motocross bike. It don't have the power like a motocross bike, but that's not what I was after. I'm not a young teen no more and full of vim and vigor, so this thing was the perfect answer for me. And uh, so here we are with a CRF 250L. I thank you all for watching my videos. Please subscribe. I'm going to have lots more videos of uh, maintenance videos, install videos of products. Uh, uh, lots of more maintenance videos coming up as I do the maintenance on the bike. So I'm going to start video and everything. And uh, lots more rides with friends and other people that come ride with me. And if you're around and want to get in this area and ride, just hey, contact me. Let me know because I enjoy riding showing everybody all the back roads we have around here and forest trails and stuff so but please subscribe click the thumbs up on this video and all the videos and uh, share it on Facebook Twitter whatever but thanks for watching Woodsman Dual Sport Adventures and I'll catch y'all in the next video